Galloper project is expected to be a 336 megawatt project and we expect it to have 56 turbines and they're all 6 megawatts each and that will be enough to power over 300,000 homes in the UK. So we will contribute a huge amount to the energy requirements of the UK, all from a green renewable source. So this project is, is significant because it is using this new 6 megawatt direct drive machine from Siemens. If you go back to the early 2000s when the first offshore projects were built like North Hoyle in the Irish Sea, they were just 2 megawatts. Now we're at 6, that's three times the size and also it's using this new direct drive technology which again is, is, is the leading edge, the cutting edge of offshore wind. The Green Investment Bank actually has a fleet of some 800 offshore wind turbines. That's across our debt, equity and fund investments across operations and in constructions. So it makes GIB one of the largest players in the offshore wind sector. So to develop this offshore wind farm, there's an awful lot of time. It takes many years to, to develop the project and see it through, to, through construction. But what you get in return for that is up to 336 megawatt wind farm, uh, and it will employ approximately 2,000 people through the construction phase of the project in order to make it happen. So it's a colossal project, but it's a very significant piece of infrastructure. Lowestoft historically was a fishing town, and obviously as we've seen the fishing industry diminish, uh, we needed to see new industries kicking in, and offshore wind is ideal for that, and indeed a number of the skippers on the vessels that are now servicing and building Galloper actually came from the fishing industry. So it's great to see generations of people being able to maintain their interest in the marine area, but move from fishing into offshore renewables. So coming from Lowestoft, I know that there's a lot of unemployment around the area and I know that in the past we've been a massive fishing industry and we do work from the sea, that's always how it has been. So to actually mix new technology with like, the new development within the sea, I think people should be proud of what's coming from Lower Stoff. The Green Investment Bank has invested in the offshore wind sector in two ways. Firstly, it's invested in, in a pipeline of projects to continue to develop out the growth of offshore wind farms here in the UK. But also, secondly, through financial innovation, we've been able to drive down the cost of capital. And that cost, getting down the cost of these projects, is actually critical to the future of the offshore wind sector. The Green Investment Bank has a lot of experience across a great number of offshore projects now. They've really been very successful in investing in offshore wind and they bring what they learn from different projects and sort of cross-fertilise uh, and share ideas and best practice with us, which is really, really helpful because whilst we're very focused on this project, it's really important that the whole industry learns together and they help facilitate that by bringing that knowledge.